As promised, my C6 board up and running, running off of the C35 breakout board. I'll give you a quick little tour of how everything is set up, uh, software-wise. First, we'll take a look at the hardware wiring side. So, the top here is our C35. The bottom here is our new C6. So the way that I have it wired is that the step wire, this yellow wire right here, is going to pin 14. Our ground, I'm tying into this ground over here, right there. The direction pin, blue, I'm tied into 16 up top here. And the enable, which is this red one here, I'll show you the way that's uh, programmed in the software. That is, with this out of the way, clean this up a little bit more, the C, uh, sorry, the uh, pin 17. Okay, separate 12 volt power supply. I actually have it hooked up to the 15 volt because I'm using a fairly large wall wart and without much load on it, it's pretty high voltage. The C35 is powered off of a separate power supply. This 4.5 5 volt power supply. All of my axes, I ran individual to all of my drivers. I also have an air solenoid and I'm running a main power solid state relay and that's hooked off of some switch emergency stops etc. Wiring diagram I posted previously in the forum I'll give you a close-up of what I I actually used for wiring I didn't change the wiring diagram at all I just made some changes some colors etc that I had written so I have one relay that's turning the spindle on and off when I am in um, Mach 3 control of the spindle. I have one relay that's cycling clockwise and counterclockwise. I have the manual auto slash manual relay that is controlled off of this switch right here that I haven't labeled yet. But that will cycle between my manual motor control and control from Mach. I also ran um, fuses for both my L1 and L2 to my knockoff KBIC board. I hooked up, you'll see in the wiring, I hooked up the relay um, for the on off. Also selects between the manual pot or the 0 to 10 volt output from the C6 board, which is connected between P2 and F negative. So just like in the manual it said, I powered up and uh, turned my spindle onto the fastest speed without anything connected to the 0 to 10 volts and I measured the voltage of it. I set it at the 7 volts that was uh, in the manual. When I got everything up and running with 7 volts, with mock set up to running the highest speed on the, on the, um, on the pulley, that it was set for 4400 I was actually getting on my display for my manual just under about 200 rpm lower I very 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 gently and slowly increased my voltage output so that the voltage that mock the, the, the rpm that mock was displaying as being selected 4400 or in this case 1200 matched what my spindle readout said. Uh, you'll see when I turn everything on in demo, this is acting up on me. It's showing zero RPM and then sometimes it reads. Uh, I think all it is is that the pickup is uh, on an angle and it's not actually uh, seeing the, the pulses. So, without further ado, the software side of things. So under configuration, I'm going to go to ports and pins, motor outputs, I have my spindle 
selected. I have direction low active selected. Step is 14, direction is 16. So step is 14, direction is 16. So the step which was this yellow, 14. Direction which is this blue, is 16. Okay. Remember I mentioned the um, 17 for enable disable. I'll show you that. Well, and of course, uh, in my case, I have it set up on port number one. So now we're going to go to spindle setup. Now I have M3 and M4 set up for output number two. Okay. As per the manual, I have use spindle motor output, step and direction. Pulse width doesn't matter because we're not doing pulse width. I put my spin up and spin down uh, to four seconds and three spec seconds respectively, and I put the immediate relay off. Now, I haven't even looked in this yet. The actual switching of direction, I noticed when testing without it hooked up to the um, KBIC board was that it was switching direction after it reapplied power, so it re-enabled an M4 command, for example, to change direction. It was not allowing the relay to switch before it sent power to the, uh, the KBIC. That would only really come into play if you had uh, a program where you had a, an M3 command and then you're going to an M4 on a tool change. Um, it might not be that big of an issue. It might just be a simple change to the M3, M4 um, VB code files. I don't know, I have to look into that. If anyone has any ideas, please post. So anyways, the output I put as two for both of them. So you'll see the output is selected and I have it as 1-17. So 17, that is actually bringing on my relay on and off. So if either an M3 or an M4 command executes, it brings the relay on. And this relay will switch with the changing of the direction. So I'm going to cancel out of this. Now the other thing you have to set up is you will have to set up your spindle pulleys. Mach 3 is hanging up for some reason. It's convenient. Uh, here are my spindle pulleys. I found that well, I only have two high and low speed. Uh, pulley 1, 100 to 2200. And number 2, I'm getting 200 to 4400. X out of that. And the last thing to set up is going to be your motor tuning. Don't know why this is acting so slow today. Go into spindle, and I should have that set properly. It should be set at uh, a thousand steps, and then the crank, the velocity, and the acceleration to whatever rating you wanted. I'll look into that after. Uh, but anyways, where I'm at right now, turn everything back on here. So, spindle on. That's 1200 RPM. That is cramped up to 44. There we go. I have control of my spindle and mock. Hope this helps anyone that's having any troubles.